Fans Beyond Wrestling after an impersonation of the Iron Sheik and Dave Cole spinning in a chair. I, Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place, can proudly present to you Beyond Wrestling's tournament for tomorrow. And coming out to the ring first, making his debut for Beyond Wrestling because of the support of you, the fans of Beyond Wrestling, straight from Texas, it is ACH. And we have heard incredible things about this competitor. It's only a matter of time until he sets the industry on fire. And let me tell you firsthand, he has an incredible opportunity to open some eyes by winning the tournament for tomorrow. Now what do we know about ACH? He is a high flyer from Texas. Somebody who has competed against the likes of Jerry Lynn. Somebody who has competed against the likes of Akira Tozawa. But perhaps his biggest challenge to date stands ahead of him because he has to go one-on-one -on -one right now with A.R. Fox, who has to be arguably the hottest wrestler on the scene in 2011. A.R. Fox is practically unstoppable. And ACH, we don't know what he can do in the ring. He's not proven, but we know that A.R. Fox, a world travel competitor, he could be competing anywhere in the world right now, but he's here for you, the fans at Beyond Wrestling. Here for the wrestlers in Beyond Wrestling, because Beyond Wrestling is the place to be. And A.R. Fox getting right in the ring. No dilly-dallying, getting right in the face of ACH. But there you see ACH, very stoic at this point. Well, ACH running his mouth. Not sure if perhaps he's uh, you know, a little bit nervous trying to uh, put up a front, trying to convey the air of confidence. But ACH, standing for attitude, charisma, and heart, he's gonna need all three of those on his side if he hopes to defeat AR Fox. Now, AR Fox may be a favorite coming to this tournament as well. AR Fox winning the style battle earlier this year. AR Fox getting to tour Japan with the Dragon Gate promotion. And I'm sure ACH would love to be in that same spot this time next year. A win over AR Fox could do that for ACH. The bell has sounded. The tournament for tomorrow is now. And all the other wrestlers are on ringside are gonna be glued to this contest, especially some of them who will be competing in this tournament. Certainly gonna have an opportunity, unlike anywhere else, to scout their opponents. And as this match starts off, we're gonna be seeing some conservative wrestling out of AR Fox and ACH because neither wants to be the first to make a mistake. Again, a first time encounter. There's gotta be a feeling out process. And if you go to tournamentfortomorrow.com, you can check out biographies for all of the competitors, ACH and AR Fox included. We've come to find out that both of these guys are almost identical in weight, identical in the level of experience, identical in age, AR Fox a little bit taller, perhaps he's gonna have an advantage when it comes to leverage with some of these holds. AR Fox on his back right now, getting power to the mat by ACH. Now ACH smartly keeping one of AR Fox's legs at bay while he works on the other. But AR Fox slapping ACH in the face. And now pushing his chest, AR Fox is ready to roll. ACH though, give him credit, not backing down. And it seems that this situation has been diffused, cooler heads prevailing. These two competitors locking up once again, this time ACH grabbing that wrist, trying to torque the arm. But AR Fox gonna use some agility to find a counter, that one hand cartwheel, reversing the leverage, now going for that waist lock, nope, spinning around for a half Nelson, no instead, taking ACH down with an arm drag, action too fast to call, AR Fox popping right back up to his feet, and these two so far have been so evenly matched, and again, getting into a shoving contest,
Once again, these guys tie up. ACH able to get that side headlock applied. AR Fox and ACH off the ropes trying to get that separation, but ACH just plowing right through him. And look at that, cartwheeling over AR Fox, sweeping the leg, going for the pin. AR Fox out at one. ACH avoiding getting his leg swept, misses with both kicks. Swept that time, but popping right back up to his feet. Picks the leg, kicked off, and rolling right back to his feet. And we are at a proverbial stalemate. Both of these guys getting right back in each other's faces. And take a look at ACH. He had his eyes glued to AR Fox until the other wrestlers around ringside distracted him. AR Fox has competed once before for Beyond Wrestling, substituting for Matt Tremont against R.D. Evans at Back in Flesh. ACH, of course, making his debut. And before ACH can land that strike to the midsection, AR Fox going out to the floor. ACH looking to dive already. Slipping right down to the floor, able to land on his feet. AR Fox charging in, he gets caught with that scissors kick and AR Fox tumbles to the floor. Take another look at that. The scissors kick right to the back of the head. Not enough for the impact for the back of the leg connecting at the base of the neck. Where you see ACH is continuing to focus his offense but again AR Fox tumbling to the floor. And AR Fox continues to look for separation. He's getting stalked right now by ACH. AR Fox's corner, a kick right to the head. Another one to the midsection. AR Fox still trying to get some distance. ACH instead just shoving him right back in the ring. Able to pick that ankle. Perhaps he's gonna be looking to go back to work on the ankle. No, instead, mounting him. Just grinding his form. Oh, and another elbow right to the ear. Very ferocious strike, and I'll take an AR Fox center on the head first into that top turnbuckle. ACH connecting with that elbow, and again. Now ACH calling for the Michael Jordan. Oh, leaping halfway across the ring and connecting in with that elbow to the base of the neck. And the Shelton Benjamin approved exploder suplex right to a pin. Only good for a two count. I'm gonna say I'm a little bit surprised to see ACH with the momentum of this contest in his favor early on. But again, just goes to show you, oh, perhaps I spoke too soon, AR Fox with a counter. And following up, popping right back up to his feet, connecting with that second cutter. These two again, so evenly matched. And AR Fox connecting with that forearm right to the jaw. ACH now the one who's trying to get away but he's getting rocked with those forearms, just stumbling backwards. Finds himself again trapped in that corner. AR Fox looking to send him across the ring. ACH put it on the brakes. And look at that strike to the midsection. Following up with a flash kick. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. ACH charging in and completing the combo with that clothesline, going right down to the floor. ACH. Certainly doing a number on AR Fox, but perhaps a little bit too confident. Perhaps bordering cocky right now. He should have been capitalizing after that flash kick and after the clothesline, but instead setting himself out to the floor. AR Fox connecting with that kick. Misses with the second, but connects with the third and ends a gurry to the back of the head. Going for that pin, the leg is hooked. And ACH able to get the left shoulder off the mat. Air Fox looking over the official, perhaps a little bit upset, but he's got nobody to blame but himself. He's gonna stay on top of his opponent. And there you see ACH so wise to try and get out of the way, but he gets caught with that kick right to the spine. Now Air Fox bringing ACH back up to his feet just to slam him down to the mat. And now dropping the knee across the face of ACH. Again, both of these guys starting off the contest with a very conservative style. And again, ACH doing everything he can to try and fight off the attack of AR Fox. Now it's Fox and an ACH hard into the buckle. Charging in and connecting with that elbow. Rolling into position. And just setting himself over the top rope with that kick. But holding onto the top rope, skinning the cat, bringing himself in the ring. And the drop kick connects flush on the chest. And now it's AR Fox who is taking it in from the other wrestlers around ringside. 
Now let me tell you guys something about the tournament for tomorrow. These guys aren't fighting for a payday. They're not fighting for a title shot. They are fighting to prove to the fans, to other wrestlers, to the promoters, to anybody in the wrestling industry that they are the future of professional wrestling. Take a look at AR Fox. How many guys do you come across that can hit maneuvers like that? Now AR Fox going for that chin lock again. Another conservative hope, perhaps planning what his next move is gonna be. But getting back to what I was saying, these guys are fighting for exposure and they are fighting for opportunity. When you win a contest at Beyond Wrestling, you get a point. If you lose a contest, you lose a point. The points are in play throughout the tournament for tomorrow. But perhaps more importantly, when you win a match in the tournament of tomorrow, you are able to move on to the next round. That means more exposure. And again, keep an eye on tournamentfortomorrow.com for daily updates, including exclusive interviews with all the participants involved. And take a look at that ACH, able to find the counter, able to drive AR Fox directly on his head. But Fox just too resilient. And again, Fox is somebody who has competed against a caliber of opponent. He's been afforded more opportunities than ACH. So not to take anything away from ACH's ability, but he may not have that same mindset. He may not have that same level of experience as AR Fox. And AR Fox immediately able to find that counter, planting the knee in the midsection, going for the suplex. ACH able to slip out, goes for the waist lock. But Fox reversing, ACH again. These guys jockeying for leverage. Now a series of elbows from ACH. Enough to break the hold, but as he comes charging in, AR Fox slingshots himself out of the ring. And able to connect with the head scissor. ACH caught on the middle rope, and Fox charging in with all of the weight of his body, colliding on the back of the head of ACH. He could be knocked out. Fox slingshot himself back in, again stomping just on the chest. ACH in a bad way, and he gets caught with that cross body. Trapped against the rope. Now we've seen maneuvers like that out of Corvus Fear in the past. And you can tell that AR Fox, somebody who loves Beyond Wrestling, somebody who's been following it right from the start, he wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. But he made a mistake right there by not pulling ACH to the center of the ring before going for that pin. And now just grinding the sole of his foot on the face of ACH. Slowing the pace down just a little bit. And anything that he can now to find an advantage, just driving the win on an ACH while he's on the rope. Again, just stepping on the side of his head. Perhaps biding time while he plans his next move. ACH writhing in pain. Perhaps going to the corner, try and pull himself back up to his feet. As Fox charges in, he gets kicked in the knee. And just a stomp to the chest, put an end to that comeback before ACH can really build any momentum. And look at that move out of AR Fox, so smart. Again, this is where, even though these two have been wrestling for the same amount of time, AR Fox probably has more experience because of the caliber of opponent. You saw the way he snapmared ACH to the center of the ring before again locking on that submission hole. I'm not sure if AR Fox can match ACH in the high flying game. I can't believe that I'm saying that. Again, ACH unproven, but what I've seen from this kid, even though he has not had the opportunity to implement some of those maneuvers thus far, I mean, perhaps AR Fox has done his homework. Perhaps AR Fox has bought his DVDs from Smart Mark Video to see what ACH has been doing in Anarchy Championship Wrestling and in St. Louis Anarchy. I'll tell you what AR Fox is doing right now. He's forearming the hell out of ACH, but ACH not backing down. Oh, but he, he might be knocked out. Nope, able to stay in his feet. Again, the attitude, charisma, the heart, it's really the heart that's showing right now from ACH. He is not backing down one iota from AR Fox. Both men connect with the forearm at the same time, ricocheting off the ropes once again. Fox charging him with a clothesline. This time it's ACH. Oh, and both guys connect with a cross body in the center of the ring. One of the damnedest collisions I've ever seen in my entire life. And the other wrestlers are on ringside, just, just in awe. The referee issuing the count. If neither man is able to answer by the 10 count, this match will be ruled a draw. And you've got to imagine that neither guy wants that because that will allow for a bye in the second round. I'm sure that's not what the fans want to see. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm a fan just as much as anybody else. I don't want to see it. And what the hell is that? 
Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. I've never seen anything like that in my life. ACH popping up and taking Fox down with a series of clotheslines. Going to send him off the ropes, but again, AR Fox with the counter. No, instead getting hooked and just driven down with that spinning slam. AR Fox not able to find a counter. What was that? He just got stomped on in the, the knee to the head. AR Fox is in trouble. Two, three. Oh, how close was that? ACH literally walking all over his opponent, demonstrating just how fast he really is. I mean, he must have connected four or five times with those kicks just while standing on his opponent, while running him over. Just blasting him with that knee. And ACH is in the zone right now. Charging in, catching the legs before AR Fox can connect. Now looking to jump across the ring, sliding out. Able to put one foot up and stop himself before he hits the wall. But now Fox connecting with that drop kick on the floor. Oh, what has Fox got in mind right here? No! No! Oh my god, a springboard 450 AR Fox throwing caution to the wind and just colliding with ACH, driving him down to the mat. Take another look at that. AR Fox is as fearless as Sabu, but he has the precision of, of somebody like AJ Styles. I mean, there's no wonder why he's been one of the most successful wrestlers on the independent scene in 2011. And with that, he's gonna be bringing ACH into the ring. No, perhaps something else in mind. Well, this could be a mistake on AR Fox's part. Here you see ACH not really moving, positioned awkwardly on the ring apron. Oh, I think that AR Fox has that leg drop in mind. This is really do or die for him. Oh, and ACH had it scouted, moving out of the way. And AR Fox, I mean, he, that could bruise a tailbone. And you see all the other wrestlers showing their sympathy to AR Fox, but, but ACH needs to capitalize on it. This is his moment right here. This is his opportunity to move on to the next round, to, to get that exposure, to prove that he belongs in the upper echelon of independent wrestling. You know, somebody like AR Fox too, who is such a well-renowned wrestler, he does not have a lot of high-profile contests out there on YouTube. The same can be said for ACH. But I mean, this is really their opportunity because the world is watching the tournament for tomorrow. AR Fox not backing down, slapping ACH in the face. Again, burying that knee in the midsection. He's gonna drive him into that pillar. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, he just flipped right off that wall. Now kicking away the leg of AR Fox and using the wall again to drive him down head first into the floor on the outside. Take a look at that again. And just driving him down. I mean, Sugar Dunkerton can't even believe what he's been seeing. This guy, another world-traveled individual. Just an unbelievable effort from ACH and AR Fox. They're going to keep it on the outside. Fox getting whipped into the apron. Where's ACH going? Building up momentum, charging in. Oh, gets caught with the foot. And AR Fox again with that Enziguri. ACH is staggered. AR Fox! Oh, Christ Almighty! With that kickflip moonsault. Off the top of the post, wiping out ACH on the floor. How many guys have you ever seen that could do anything like that? These guys are pulling out all the stops. I mean, AR Fox is, is one of a kind. And I think he's got ACH's number. And you know what? ACH is going to be disappointed going home to Texas, losing a contest like this, but what a valiant effort. Really showing, and this is gonna be it. One, two, three, oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! How did ACH ever manage to get out of that? Again, going back to what those letters stand for, and the heart is really on display right here. ACH is not giving up. Able to connect to the midsection, charging into AR Fox, but he gets put on that top turnbuckle. Caught again with that spinning kick. And this is where AR Fox likes to hit the low main pain. He connects, and this match is over. You can count to 100. Two, three. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I've never seen anybody kick out of that maneuver. And AR Fox again. Missing this time, caught up on the ropes, the kick to the chest. ACH calling for Mortal Kombat, 
Oh, kicking him two times. He's got him hooked for that reverse DDT. Oh no, just a variation of the Spin Doctor. One, two, three, and ACH is gonna move on to the second round of the tournament for tomorrow. This has to be considered one of the biggest upsets in Beyond Wrestling history. Again, take a look at that. He had the head hook, the legs trapped, and what a terrible angle for AR Fox to get dropped on his head. Dude's gonna be knocked out, and ACH has just beat AR Fox. And this is ACH, you cannot have done it without you, the fans of Beyond Wrestling, for supporting him, for donating to the Indiegogo campaign. Guys, let me tell you something. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please tell anybody that you know that likes wrestling to check out Beyond Wrestling and check out the tournament for tomorrow. Look at this now, ACH going right to the outside and shaking hands with AR Fox, and that is what it is all about.